What's up, y'all? Welcome to Past Kitchen. I tell you, do I have a recipe for y'all. And I'm sharpening my knives because it's going to be a lot of chopping and slicing going on. So listen, I listen to you guys continuously. And so many of you have requested my famous sweet and spicy coleslaw. Yep, <laughs> yep, I'm giving it to you. I'm giving it to you right here on my YouTube channel. It used to be so popular in, in, in Neely's Barbecue restaurants that I literally had people that would come and they would um, buy like five, six gallons at a time and um, they would take it back to their restaurants, their fish restaurants or their soul food restaurants and they would sell it. But uh, it didn't bother me. I was glad to be selling a lot of it. So these days I make it a lot at home. So I'm going to make a smaller batch today and I'm going to start with um, a half a head of cabbage. My days in the restaurant, I had a um, I had a big machine that was shredded because we would do like 50 or 60 uh, um, pounds at a time. But I always like to pick great cabbage with some green for color. And I take them and I roll them. And I tell you, some places or even at home, you know, you, you will, um, and I give them a rough little chop there. Some um, places, have the vacuum packed cabbage. I ain't a fan, y'all. <laughs> it's got to be fresh. It's got to be um, um, just the fresh cabbage because um, it's such, it's so much more fresher and there's a nice crunch. So as you can see, I'm just cutting these in shreds like so. And my slaw is really I want to say it's kind of like a um, a um, salad almost because as you, you you'll see that I don't put a lot of liquid dressings like mustard and, and mayonnaise in it. I do use some. When you're chopping your cabbage, up here is going to be really easy, but down here you have some some of the core, so you want to give it a rough chop so you don't have big chunks in there. Just like so. Then, so that they're not so long, I just give them a nice little chop across here. Here's another little big piece of the core. And we just give that a rough chop. I'm going to take an onion. I'm going to dice this onion up. Y'all don't know how many years I made this slaw. Uh, it was so essential in, in, in the restaurant business because, and I used about a half an onion, half a head of cabbage. It's going in because um, slaw was just about on everything. It went on all of our dinners. It went on, um, it went on all of our dinners. It was also on our pulled pork sandwiches, which was really popular in Memphis to have pulled pork. You, you would have it on a bun with some slaw and barbecue sauce. Um, and then all of our entrees, whether it was ribs or brisket or whatever, it was there. So I got me a little grater. I got two carrots and you just grate them. Now, you, and I like to use a grater because it's consistent. If you can't smile and have fun in your kitchen, you're doing something wrong. So I, I, I don't waste anything. I guess that's the restaurant in me. I just take these last little bit. I didn't want to go too far. Now, we got all of this beautiful uh, produce sitting right here. Just beautiful colors, got green, I got my onions, and I got my carrots. We're gonna sit that to the side, and we're gonna make this simple dressing. Super easy. Um, this is the this is what, what what really makes it happen and I call this a sweet and spicy coleslaw because I've got sugar and this is about a cup of sugar 
You know, you have to adjust your measurements if I did a whole head of cabbage. Um, then I've got some, I want to start here, I got some apple cider vinegar. And it doesn't take much of the apple cider vinegar. I've got a little cayenne pepper. I told y'all it was uh, sweet and spicy. I got some black pepper going in. You don't need much of the cayenne pepper, but it depends on uh, how hot of cayenne pepper. Cayenne pepper, especially ground, uh, the, the grounded kind, has different layers of heat. So you want to make sure that um, you know how much. We had some that was commercial in the restaurant, and I mean, it was hot, so I only needed a bit. Got a little yellow mustard going in. And then I've got some mayo. And this is your simple dressing. And we wanna just take this and whisk it. And I whisk it just like that. So now we take our dressing and we just come right in on top of our slaw like that. And when I first started making it, I used to think, and where I was making the mistake, is I thought that, well, I had enough dressing for all that cabbage. Well, what happens is, um, it, as once you mix it, it'll seem a little thick and a little coarse, but the sugar will dissolve. And once it starts to dissolve, then you get the full flavor. So. I suggest, and I do it, whenever I make my slaw, it's either the day before, or it's, um, you know, I give it a couple of hours if I didn't get a chance to do it the day before. Mix beautifully, you wanna make sure you really get a good mix, uh, which I have. It's got great color because I was fortunate enough to find cabbage that had beautiful green leaves and I told y'all this was not gonna be long, it was not gonna be difficult, but now you can make that sweet and spicy coleslaw right in your own kitchen. What we'll do with it now, you see how beautiful it looks? I mean, and it's coarse. So don't let that uh, um, give you any concern because what'll happen is I'm gonna wrap it in uh, cellophane, put it in the refrigerator, the, the uh, sugar and all of the um, ingredients will continue to dissolve and it's good on foot long grilled uh, smoked sausages it's good for a uh, catfish dinner it's good with spaghetti and of course you making your great old big old pulled pork sandwich do it Memphis style throw you a little slaw and there's some barbecue sauce and I'm telling you what it'll be the best barbecue sandwich you ever had so just like that, you guys asked for it. I delivered Pat's Sweet Spicy Coleslaw. Until next time, y'all enjoy.